Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at copy on import, what it is and what it isn't. All right, I have a whole tutorial on the new import mode in Premiere Pro, and I left the copy part out because it was really confusing for me. And I had to go and dissect things, and, and now I'm gonna tell you what it's doing and what it looks like it's doing. So I've got some clips on a card, and I'm going to copy these from the card to my computer using the new import dialog box. But before we do that, I'm gonna turn two things on in Premiere Pro that are normally off, and they help you see what is going on in this, behind the scenes. Um, because normally, if, if I was gonna take this card and just go to the Finder or the Desktop and Windows and copy them, you would see a, a, um, a progress bar. You'd see something telling you, hold on a second, it's taking a moment to copy the files. We're all used to that. Well, you don't see that for the import dialog, the import mode, and it can you can think you copied them that quickly, or did you? So let's turn on two things in Premiere Pro. So I already have a project created. In the window menu, I'm going to look for progress. This is a dialog box that is not normally up on any of the workspaces, so I'm going to put it here. Next up, down in the project bin, I'm going to go to my metadata display. So I'm clicking on the little flyout menu and I'll type file and you can see file path is also not turned on. Click OK. You don't see it down here. If you double click on the, the uh, panel name, it will maximize it and scroll way over here on the right. And where the heck is it? Oh, it's, <laughs> I'll go back. So normally this is way over here on the right. I already did it earlier. I moved it here and it remembered. So this is going to show me the media path of the clips. Okay, so let's go to the, the desktop and I have a folder here. I called it my hard drive. It's on my D drive. And this is where I'm going to copy the files. I'm going to have another folder over here once I mount the card. So I'm gonna mount this in the new import uh, mode and show you where it is. And then I'll show you here, okay? There's a lot of steps to show you what's going on in the background, but this is what I had to do to figure out what was going on. Okay, back to Premiere Pro into the um, import mode. And now you'll see devices, it's not showing. I'll insert the card. It'll mount and it shows up. So when I click on that, there are the clips. Take a moment to see the thumbnails. Take a moment, to, there we go. So let's go back to the desktop and open them up. Okay, so this is on a completely different drive. It's on the card. Um, it's attached to my computer, but I want these over here. And mostly, most of the time, people will select these and manually drag them over. That's fine, but let's use the import mode. I'm not going to create a bin, but I am going to open up copy. Let me close these up. And I'll open up copy. And you'll see two choices. The first is with or without uh, MD5 verification. MD5 is turned on by default. This is just a more accurate way to see if the copy was successful. You might think, aren't all copies successful? When you get to really high-end critical files, uh, like a feature film, the DIT on set will be counting on a type of uh, verification like MD5 so that they, when they stick that red or that airy card in and move it over, they have to be guaranteed it made it over. And they'll probably back it up into a, a few other locations. Here is another one. Where is the destination? Is it the same as the project? Is it in the user preset destination? Or sorry, use preset destination, go to Creative Cloud Files, or choose location. Now, Creative Cloud Files is, is 
not a good choice because that's not meant as a rigorous uh, read and write uh, cloud uh, uh, video format. It's just, don't do that. Instead, I'm going to choose the location and I'm going to choose the location I already have. So my hard drive. Okay, so that's where they're gonna go. I'll select that folder. So nothing is copied yet until I select them and they'll show up in the bottom and then I click import. Now, as soon as I do that, this screen will go away and we'll jump into the actual project. Watch the progress bars and more importantly, watch the path. Here's what will happen. The path will start out on the card, which is wrong. I don't want that to happen, but it switches over to local as it copies the file. I'll tell you why Adobe did this in a second. This confused the heck out of me. All right, we ready? So I'll select all of these, that guy too. They're all selected down to the bottom. I'm going to copy them and watch what happens. I'll click import and watch. Watch down here, F, that's the card. And media uh, encoder is launching. What the heck is going on? This is all normal. This is the way it's supposed to work. And watch what happens. You'll see the copy is now taking place up at the top, but watch down here. These will change from the card to my local hard drive. That's the crazy part. Here they go, watch, boom, boom, boom. Even if I have all of these already in a sequence, look it, I'm scrubbing the sequence and they're changing their location on the import as they complete. Now they're in my D drive, they're no longer on the card. And the last one. That's weird. <laughs> Here's why I think Adobe did this. They want to make the experience for new users seamless and effortless. They want to click one button, copy, it's in there, drop it on the timeline and edit. And in the background, Premiere Pro is quickly switching the location pointer of the file. So this that's where this file is. If I right click and choose reveal in Explorer or on Finder, it's showing me it's on my D drive. What confused me the very first time I clicked um, to copy, it came in here, I right clicked and it was back on the card, but I didn't have the path name showing and I didn't have the progress showing. I was just absolutely baffled at why it didn't move. So they did that because if you think about it from a completely new user uh, standpoint, they didn't have to wait for the media. It's almost magical whee, that the media just was there and they started editing. Here's one of the problems. What if that user removed the card? Then that copy operation will fail and you won't get a proper warning you telling you, oh, by the way, buddy, put the card back in and we'll keep copying. No, it'll just go eh, and you're sitting there wondering why it didn't work. Or if you're a nerd like me and you're poking around, you'll find out what it's doing. Okay, so now you know what it's doing. Is it that bad? Not Now that you know, it's not really that bad. It's going to copy that to the location. But here is a huge problem with this project. If we, Look at, if we go back to import, copy is on, and it's easy to miss copy being on. In fact, if we go back to edit and go to media browser, look what this is turned on, ingest. Watch what happens when I turn ingest off and go back to import, turns copy off. Turn copy on, it turns ingest on. Let's click on the little wrench. This has been there for a long time in, in Media Browser. It's copying, it's not transcoding. So it's you're not losing any quality. This is the same kind of desktop copy that you would do. Primarily, people have been using the ingest settings to make proxies. 
because it copies and it makes a lower resolution file. It transcodes that. That's typically what this ingest does. Here's the freaking problem. And this is what I had when I first turned copy on and I forgot I had it on. As I was bringing in media, it was duplicating it all the time. So it's okay to duplicate it. I'm gonna take my card out now. It's okay to duplicate if it's coming from here because eventually the card's gonna come out and it's gonna be erased. But I left it on and I started bringing stuff in for my hard drive and it started copying all the stuff on my hard drive. Oh, you bring in 50 things, now you have duplicate 50 things. Bring in a thousand things, you get the idea. So I would highly suggest once you're finished turning that off, and you can see it's still pointing to the, the uh, card, but if I go back to my hard drive, this is on my internal drive. But just be careful of that. And here's why this happens. In the file menu, project settings, ingest settings, that's that same dialog box that I was showing you. This is a project setting, a sticky project setting. So here's the typical scenario that I think someone would do. They would start a project, they would put the card in, they would stick it in there and click on copy, copy their stuff, take the card out, great, keep working. Forget they have copy on, bring in a bunch of stuff, it's duplicating, duplicating. They quit the project, two days from now they open the project, they bring stuff internally, it duplicates, duplicates. This is a sticky project setting. So if you've got copy on, it's gonna stay on forever. Your other projects, won't be on unless you turn them on. But this is exactly the same as the ingest setting. And to me, could be very problematic. Now, the other thing that you saw happen was Media Encoder launched. And this again was another thing that confused me. I had copy on. And then when I quit for the, the day I was as I was developing this, I thought, did I leave Media Encoder going? And what are those files in there? I don't remember. In oh. Ingest, copy, both of those use media encoder. In fact, if you go over to the presets in here, there's an encoding preset to make presets like YouTube, and then there's an ingest preset. Oh yes, and here we can just copy files to a destination. That's why one of the choices, choices for copying in the import mode was use destination in the preset. Little history, all of this came from Prelude, which is now a, a dead program. But Prelude was made for importing in projects uh, for BBC, CNN, and, and they had requirements where they had a dedicated um, location and a dedicated ingest and a dedicated renaming and all of that stuff. So they would save all of that in one preset. Um, I have never used a saved location because the location changes all the time just so you know where that is. That's where these ingest presets come from. So is it a good idea to turn this on in, in the import? Okay, as long as you turn it off. So import from the card and then turn it off. Um, yeah, that's that's all that I, so this took me a half a day to go in and, and figure out and I was making mistakes, so hopefully, um, you are not going to make the same mistake. And like I said, in my import um, demo, if you want, you don't have to select anything in here. You can just uh, create a new project. And when you're making a new project, you can create it from here and not even use the import uh, mode. Adobe has high hopes for the import mode. They're going to iron stuff out uh, long term. I bet you I'm not the only one that's going to come across this and they'll be flooded with calls. How come my hard drive is being eaten up with duplicates? Yikes. Um, so they're going to make it better. So I, I think that they've got a great idea. A lot of new users will love it. And this magic kind of instant copy where they just click once and they start editing. When you think about it, if they leave the card in and they edit, it, and that's, that's pretty cool. That's like instant copying. But for anybody else, like a nerd like me, who's pulling the card out or poking around, uh, it's easy to get confused. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found something deep like this informative, take a moment and subscribe because this is the kind of thing that I do. I don't just take the marketing at face value. I peek in here and find the problems you're going to uh, come across before you do. 
If you want to support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop where you can donate once or monthly any amount. We appreciate and love all of our donors. Thank you so much. You folks are wonderful. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's uh, my job to not take the marketing guy's words for it and uh, peek around and find the things that might slip 